Hey guys, what's up? It's Vince from Free Tech Support, and today I'm going to show you how to make this awesome background in Adobe Photoshop CS4. I'm not sure if it'll work on any lower version, so don't ask me because I will not know because I've only had CS4. So I don't know the differences at all. So here we go. Alright, the first thing you want to do is go to Google or translate.google.com. Enter text or a web page URL. I'm going to type in imagination. And then you want to translate from English, translate into Japanese. And that's what this means right here is uh, imagination in Japanese. Right. And then you just want to copy this and then open up Adobe Photoshop and go to File new and then your width and height is your background make sure it's set to pixels uh, background contents doesn't matter we'll be changing that okay so voila we have this oh my god this is so amazing right now i know so don't freak out and then you just want to grab your select your text tool selection tool no text tool and you want to control v to paste that and my size i have it up to 500 because whenever I first made this, it was like really crazy small. So you just want to move it until it looks like it's in the center. And you want to just go like that. And you're done. Well, no, you're not done done. But okay. Next, you want to go to File, Open. Open up the Grunge Texture II by Struck Dumb. And you want to go to Image, Image Size. 1680 or your width you want to be uh what your desktop size is and your height don't mess with that just make sure that this uh little chain here is here to keep it linked and click okay you want to drag it out like that select your move tool or v on your keyboard i believe yep v on your keyboard and you just want to hold the shift key and drag it onto your picture. The shift key will drag it into the middle. Don't move it under the text layer. That is not the correct thing to do. So we're doing something else next. You want to go to image, duplicate, and duplicate it. And now you have two copies of it. This is for a very good reason. You want to go to then, I believe it is layer the dreaded flatten image oh my god we just messed it all up nope because we still have our other one but this is for a good reason next i believe you want to go to image adjustments desaturate and we have that next you want to go to file save as uh, you want to make sure it's a photoshop document or psd or pdd Okay, and you want to save it to your desktop or wherever. Save it as Displacement. And save. Now you can exit out of that. Now, when you're over here in our other picture, as you can see right now, um, you will just want to hold down the Alt key. I believe it's the Option key if you are on, uh, if you're on Mac. You just want to hold down, don't drag, just go in between your grunge layer and your text layer and click, and that will happen now. Okay, so that is good that that happened. You want to select your text layer, and you want to go to Filter, Distort, Displace. Uh, this type of layer must be rasterized, click OK. And you want to horizontal scale for vertical scale for displacement map stretch to fit undefined areas wrap around oh okay yeah I'm pretty sure I went over the sizes that's four and four and you wanna go select your displacement file click open and now it has that little edge around it so next you wanna go down here and click effects bevel and emboss or emboss whatever you want to call it uh, technique chisel hard the depth you want to bring it to around 750 
uh, the size, you want to bring it down to one. So I'll give you like a nice hard edge, but it still has like the cutout and some parts. And you want to click OK. Okay, so we're doing pretty good. Now we don't have much left to do. We just have to go to File, Open, open up that blue, the blue, blue grunge texture by S O L Stock. Just open it. You want to go to Image, Image Size, the width. You want to make it 1680, or you want to make it your desktop width size, and click OK. Make sure that chain link is there. You want to drag it out like that. Uh, if this happens to you, don't ask me why. That blue line, I have no clue why that is there, or that cyan line. And you just want to have your move tool, and then hold shift, and then drag it into your picture. Now, it'll... I'm pretty sure I did. Yep, I did. And you want to drag it below the background, or below your text. And we have that. And then, for layer 2, you want to go to Filter, Blur, Radial Blur, bring the amounts up to 70, the Blur method to Zoom, the default is Spin, the amount default is 10, and the quality up to Best, the default is Good, so just bring all it up, and click OK. Now this should pop up, if it doesn't, then your computer is really fast, and Either that or it's extremely slow. So voila. It's like, oh my god, that's amazing. How did you figure this out? Yeah, I know people. So next you want to go to File, Save As. Save it as a PNG for the best quality. And I already have it, Blue Blur BG. So I'll just save it as that again. Blue Blur BG. And click Save. Yeah, I will want to, and PNG options, uh, interlace, uh, interlace is better if you have HD, or if you want it to be, it just adds more lines, so it all stays together, and just click OK, let it save. All right. And can minimize out of that, and that's what we made. So, yeah, I know it's like really cool. So, remember to uh, rate, comment, subscribe, rate again, comment some more, make other people subscribe, you know, just all of that. I know, I make like really good tutorials. I had one of my friends at school tell me that I make really good tutorials. But I don't have enough subscribers by the stuff that of amazingness I do. So if you just really would subscribe and spread the word to other people who are looking for Photoshop tutorials, it, I'd really appreciate it. Um, I, I will accept some sub for subs if you really want me to. So it's been Vince from Free Tech Support, and I just showed you how to make that awesome background. Peace out, dog.